Hi, my name is Liz Plank, and today I'm going to tell you about a super inspiring Canadian. Aviation's glass ceiling, shattered. Gender stereotypes, overcome. This Canadian icon was North America's first female to graduate with an aeronautical engineering master's degree, and the first woman in the world to design an aircraft. And on top of a seamlessly endless list of firsts in the field of engineering, she advocated tirelessly for the advancements of women's rights. Elizabeth Elsie McGill, the queen of the hurricanes. A title befitting a superhero, but Elsie didn't just live up to this moniker, she surpassed it. In a time when the skies seemed out of reach for women, Elsie soared above societal expectations so that generations to follow could do the same. The newest addition to the Royal Canadian Mint's collection is a special $1 commemorative circulation coin featuring the extraordinary Elsie McGill. But this coin is more than just a tribute. It's a gateway to discovering how one person helped pave the way for many people of her time. Picture the Roaring Twenties, jazz-filled nights, and flapper dresses. While many were shaking their fringe, Elsie was shaking up the world of academia. Amid the constraints of strict gender roles, she became the first woman in Canada to earn a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. Despite facing polio, Elsie defied all odds and became the world's first woman to earn a master's degree in aeronautical engineering. In 1938, she became the chief aeronautical engineer at Canadian Car and Foundry and etched her name in history by designing an aircraft, the Maple Leaf Trainer II the first woman to do so. And then came the Hawker hurricane. To go to war, the Hawker had to be able to fly in cold weather. Elsie and her team engineered adaptations to the iconic aircraft, equipping it to conquer the cold, a design that was critical to help defend our allies during World War II. Remember that superhero-like name? Well, it's not that far from the truth. Her work with the Hawker captured the attention of true American comics who gave Elsie the title queen of the hurricanes. Rosie the Riveter may have been fictional, but Elsie McGill was the real deal. It's no wonder, Elsie came from a long line of revolutionary women. Her grandmother was a suffragist, and in 1917, her mother, Helen Gregory McGill, was the first female juvenile court judge in British Columbia. With each milestone reached, Elsie McGill proved that the sky was never the limit. However, she didn't set out to become one of Canada's most prominent feminists. Rejecting the label woman engineer, she saw herself simply as an engineer. It is only habit, custom, and complacency that keep us chained to outworn ideas and outmoded institutions. Once we recognize the desirability of change, we can readily find the way to accomplish it. From 1967 to 1970, she was a commissioner for the Royal Commission on the Status of Women in Canada. Until her passing in 1980, Elsie dedicated herself to seeing as many of the commission's 167 recommendations to the federal government implemented as possible. For the rest of her life, she worked to oversee the implementation of the report, meaning we have Elsie to thank in part for life in Canada today. When you come across the new $1 coin commemorating Elsie in your change, you'll not only be reminded of her enduring legacy, but also of the importance and power of change. Celebrate the invaluable contributions of the women who have helped shape this country into what it is today.